So this is a Victorian house in South London that's been owned for about 20 years. As you can see from the line at the top of this screen, this property has been damp proofed. That is the top of the damp proofer slurry line. And what slurry does is it's an impermeable surface that stops the absorption and release of water, effectively blocking it as, as a tile or, or plastic would do. Um, but by reducing the absorption of vapour, it increases the risk of mould and condensation. I'm going to show you around the downstairs of the property so that you can understand where the damp is and why it's there. Here is a particularly damp area. It's around the fireplace at the rear of the reception room. The reception room is open. There's a, a kitchen extension into the side return. I'm using a protimeter radio frequency damp meter. 999 is damp. Uh, 300 or below is dry and anything in between is somewhat damp. You can see that there are high meter readings right at the base of the wall. Now the reason for this is because tins and bottles of wine have been stored in the chimney close to the cold subfloor void. Here is a thermal image showing the heat loss at the base of the wall. Last, last 17 years, I can see it has degraded. Okay. So, uh, it's, um, and then, then what happens on the other side? I visited the property on the neighbouring side of this damp wall and there is some high damp meter readings at the base of the wall as is common, um, again condensation issue, but there's no sign of salts and uh, damage from dampness or mould for that matter. Back in the client's house, I, I had a client from the Champagne area uh, <laughs> and he, he was keeping their wine cold. Mm. Uh, and it caused condensation because of the, ah, the temperature. Bitter, yeah, yeah. But uh, um, it can happen with with anything metal or mm. or with a body yeah. of water yeah. because it causes um, heat differential, mm. which can result in condensation yeah. essentially. Okay. Uh, oh, you, but you got mold there, then. Yeah. These holes from from past damp proofing treatment that one there used to be the way that it was done so th this has been treated for oh you've got mold up there as well mold um, grows in similar areas to condensation it's from excess vapor prolonged excess vapor above 85 percent relative humidity for a long period of time where there's mold you're bound to find condensation mold. and Vice versa. Well, I mean, as a general rule, if you've got if you've got damp issues and moles in different parts of the yeah. property, it it's means a, that condensation is a factor. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll go back into the the one thing I didn't do actually was um, measure the dampness here. Uh, also, I forgot to take note of damp proofing treatment there. And this has got quite a lot of mould growing on it. I mean, yeah. And likewise here. When there's a risk of a leak, it's good to check the mains water stopcock for signs of movement when there's no water being drawn in here. There's a very small amount of water being drawn. Uh, we tested various elements out, turned the main stopcock off internally, uh, and I think there's a small drip on the tank, but I didn't have access to it. I think it's benign. I don't think it's to be concerned about, but it's something to be aware of.
the subfloor humidity was normal, suggesting that there wasn't a leak affecting the ground below this damp wall. Water in the wine gets cold and creates a, a zone of heat loss, increasing the risk of condensation. Uh, ventilation here. But um, it's a bit humid at the bottom of the, not on this wall too much, not on this wall, but here it's a bit, uh, if you, if you, I don't know. Actually. If the property hadn't been damp proofed, then the front walls would have absorbed the vapour. They would have exhibited condensation and it would have been clearer that condensation was the cause and that the ventilation needed to be solved. We have a nearby kitchen with no externally vented extractor fan, uh, lots of cooking uh, and the vapour from cooking is condensing on this wall. You can see the holes at the base of the wall. This where it's been damp proofed in the past. It's true. It's true that I mean the, the, house, the house is older. There's also colourless damp at the and top of the house. And if we look through the thermal images, we can see damp. We can see dot and dab dry lining. This causes localised area of heat loss, increasing the risk of condensation.